Your Excellencies, esteemed colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, dear students. It's my great pleasure to welcome you all to our patron saint day's celebration. Today, in the middle of our academic year, our university pauses to affirm what it holds most dear and most important. To say it ceremoniously, today is a day to acknowledge our most cherished values. Those are weighty words, of course. They beg to be nuanced and made concrete for fear of getting lost in the tumult and the shouting where they tend to lose their meaning. To remedy this, we invite a number of remarkable people to Leuven each year who embody our highest values. These are our doctores honoris causa. <clears throat> In a way, they hold a mirror up to us. They show us who we say we are. We say a lot of wonderful things about ourselves. That we are outstanding. That we inspire and aspire to the highest heights. That we want to change the world and other small details. You are all familiar with the special vocabulary the academic world likes to use to talk about itself. In this sense, our doctores honoris causa confront us, perhaps even in an unsettling way. I certainly can't write world-class literature like Philippe Claudel can do. I don't have any special insight that could slow global warming like Professor Volker does. I can't point a way to cure for cancer like Professor Jane can. And I don't have any world-encompassing knowledge of public administration to match Professor Guy Peters. Ik zou me dus kunnen afvragen wat het is dat mij toelaat, en dat geldt ook voor ieder van u, om met elk van onze vier eredoctores op gelijke voet te onderhouden. Zou het niet eerlijker en praktischer zijn om haar meteen toe te geven dat zij ieder op, op hun manier eigenlijk beter zijn dan u en ik, vooral dan ik. De waarheid is natuurlijk dat zij zelf dat zouden beletten. Ze zijn ongetwijfeld en terecht bijzonder trots op hun werk. Maar ze zijn tegelijk ook de eerste om de relativiteit van hun succes te onderstrepen. Hun werk is onbetwistbaar van de hoogste kwaliteit, maar de eenvoudige werkelijkheid is dat het minder goed is dan wat morgen zal worden gepresteerd. Dat is de basis van academische bescheidenheid. En het is die bescheidenheid die het ons mogelijk maakt met elkaar op voet van gelijkheid om te gaan. Ook bescheidenheid is immers een academische waarde. En misschien wel een van de belangrijkste. Today is not only a celebration of, of values, it is also a celebration of traditions. Our university, now nearly six centuries old, has been conferring honorary degrees for more than 130 years. That's more than 800 in total. In the early years, the university occasionally overdid itself. The record-holding year was 1927, we were all much younger in those days, when 70 honorary doctorates were awarded in commemoration of our 500th birthday. 70 honorary doctorates. Back then, you only got noticed if you hadn't received a honorary degree. But for the most part, we've kept it to four or five honorary degrees. 
per year. Until around 1960, your chances were far better if you happened to be a Monsignor or another high-ranking member of the church hierarchy. In the first three quarters of the century, our honorary degrees even gave canon lawyers an opportunity. Imagine. The most important criterion for awarding an honorary doctorate, especially in the last 50 years, has of course been scientific excellence. I do not use this term lightly. Among our doctores honoris causa are many who went on to win a Nobel Prize after being honored by our university. Not that I'm suggesting a causal link here, of course. It just does exist. I'm thinking of physicists like Gerhard Hoft and Rudolf Mössbauer, or chemist Ahmed Zeweil, or economists Jan Tinbergen and Myron Scholes. After Leuven came Stockholm. You have been warned. <coughs> Au moment où Louvain a décidé d'instaurer des doctorats honoris causa, on a pu croire que les insignes suprêmes allaient régulièrement être conférés à des écrivains. Le tout premier docteur ainsi honoré a reçu ces insignes en 1881. Il s'agissait en effet d'un écrivain, Henri Conscience, une célébrité mondiale en Flandre, à l'instar de Stein Streuvels et de Hilo Gesala. Mais les choses en sont provisoirement restées là. Depuis, les doctorats attribués à des écrivains demeurent clairsemés, mais il s'agit chaque fois de très grands noms. Pour l'époque récente, je pense à Nadine Gordmer, à Mario Vargas Loza en 2003, deux futurs prix Nobel, à Eugène Ionesco et à David Grossman. Aujourd'hui, Philippe Claudel rejoint cette galerie d'éminents écrivains docteurs. Or, par le plus étonnant des hasards, il se fait que son homologue, son compatriote et son homonyme, Paul Claudel, a également reçu un doctorat honoris causa de notre université en 1946. Enfin, je tiens à vous faire part avec plaisir que Philippe Claudel fête aujourd'hui son anniversaire. Il est né le 2 février 1962 et vient donc d'avoir 53 ans. Ceci ne peut pas davantage être le fruit du hasard. Bon anniversaire. Ecologists are few and far between on our list of doctores honoris causa. That isn't surprising, perhaps, given the relatively short history of ecology as a discipline in its own right. There are thus not many parallels to be found for Karl Volke. In his research, he implores us, just as past ecologists did, to treat our environment with care. Nature should not be seen as a social or industrial sector to be exploited, but as a basic condition of our existence. At the same time, his message is a rather positive one. He focuses on the resilience of nature, of which man is part. Karl Volker spreads his message with his research, but it is, of course, also a thought that is taken up by many writers and artists as well. It comes as no surprise, then, that Professor Volker also uses the arts as part of his awareness-building efforts. <coughs> Among the list of Leuven doctores, a number of medical doctors and researchers in the field of medicine. In the distant past, there was Alexander Fleming, Cornel Heymans, and Louis Pasteur. Two years ago, K. Leuven conferred honorary degrees on several leading neurologists and brain researchers. And this year, Professor Rakesh Jain downs the Leuven doctoral gown. He is, as you know, one of the world's most eminent cancer specialists. His research on the role of blood vessels and vessel formation in tumors 
has opened new research and treatment avenues to the medical community. Part of his research was conducted in collaboration with Leuven, colleague, and kindred spirit, Peter Carmelit. Policymakers and government officials are actually quite well represented in our list of laureates. We have welcomed heads of states, UN secretary generals, chancellors, and at the end of the 19th century, even the then emperor of Brazil. Leuven's doctoral robes hang in the closets of prime ministers and ministers in Belgium and abroad. And of course, we have also 100 researchers who studied the ingenious, complex, never neutral way in which man deals with power, the nature of power, the exercise of power, the translation of power into administrative structures, and so forth. Power is a quintessentially human phenomenon, just like love, faith, deceit, trust. This is what makes it so difficult and also so fascinating. Professor Guy Peters has thought and written much about these questions with such clarity and richness that his ideas resonate in classrooms and boardrooms around the world. Eigenlijk hadden we vandaag vijf eredoctoraten willen uitreiken. We hadden ook heel graag mevrouw Michelle Bachelet, president van Chili, in ons midden gehad, maar dat was niet mogelijk. Zij heeft echter toegezegd in de zeer nabije toekomst naar Leuven te willen komen. Haar afwezigheid vandaag maakt dit natuurlijk wel een beetje tot een feest van herendoctoraten. Maar daar kan ik ook niet veel aan veranderen. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, that our four doctores honoris causa here today have very diverse profiles, areas of expertise and backgrounds, which will become clear in a minute in the laudatios. What unites each of these exceptional individuals is the impressive beauty of their work and their modesty as people. I hope that they are all at least a little proud of their Leuven Honorary Doctorate, and in any case, we are proud to have them here today. <laughs> 